What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, uh, I want to show you something. You're probably thinking about getting a new Mac Mini, and maybe you knew this, uh, but I have a Mac Mini, and this is a 2014 model. It's been a desktop computer of mine for a little while here, and I really like it. I really loved it when it was speedier and faster, but ever since a particular Mojave, but you know, the operating system upgrades gets a little slow. And because this is now a four-year-old computer, you can definitely sense its age. Uh, particularly because this doesn't have an SSD or a super fast processor and it only has, I think, eight gigs of RAM. So it's pretty mundane by most computer specs, but the form factor is really awesome. Now, Apple released a new Mac mini and they have been telegraphing that this year. And so I've been really holding out, super excited to get that bad boy. It comes in space gray. It looks just like this. It has new ports on the back, more Thunderbolt. And I think that's the big one, new processor, solid state drives. Uh, so it's really awesome. And I was super excited. They announced it. And the thing about Mac minis is that they're pretty cheap, right? No screen. You kind of bring all your own peripherals. And so I went uh, when they announced it and they were shipping the following week. And I went in and ordered a Mac mini. Uh, and I didn't go with the lowest, lowest end version, but they have an upgraded processor. And so I got that and customized it. Uh, it I selected the six core, eighth generation Intel Core i5, turbo boost up to 4.1 gigahertz, standard three gigahertz. I also wanted to future proof it just a little bit, so I went with a 32 gig RAM. And uh, I also went with the half a terabyte uh, SSD. And that's because the full terabyte was an additional $400. So uh, the issue with this is, as you can see here on the pricing, is that the, the final price on this bad boy is $18.99. Now I did order this, all right? So this sat in the Apple online order system. And I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, um, 32 gigabytes is where I want to be just in case, you know, over the next few years, computers become more, I don't know, programs become more uh, RAM uh, needy. But the 512 gigabyte SSD is what really was killed me because this one, even though it's a standard um, platter hard drive, it was a terabyte and space goes by quick on it. So to go down to half a terabyte, uh, even though it's an SSD, kind of, uh, irked me and if I go to the full terabyte what you can see here is it goes to $22.99 and so I thought man what are my alternatives here $18.99 retail throw on Illinois sales tax this was a little over $2,000 and I was like oh my gosh $2,000 for the low end Mac that's kind of painful so I ended up canceling my order and I went with something else and here's my thought process so I looked at this um, and I said, hey, I want to get to something like this, but how can I do it in a way that's cheaper? How can I get my 32 megs of RAM and my full terabyte SSD and maybe even, um, you know, upgrade in some other places? So what I did is I went online and I looked at the 2013 Mac Pro. I think that's the last time they've updated that. The cylindrical um, desktop computer. And even though it runs the Intel Xeon processor, the specs on it in terms of performance are very, very close to the eighth generation Intel Core i5. In fact, uh, the Xeon from the 2013 model runs generally faster across the board except for the turbo boost. It doesn't max out uh, as, as quickly or at the faster rate that this i5 does. So just at the very top end, it's, uh, it's not an improvement, but for most cases, it's actually better. On top of that, it has upgradable RAM, which the Mac Mini does, it's not easy to get to, but uh, most of those Mac Pros came with 32 gigs of RAM. On top of that, they all came with solid state drives, and in fact, you can find them with one terabyte uh, SSDs pretty easily. Now, fast forward to I make this decision to cancel my Mac Mini order and shop around for a 2013 Mac Pro, and I have this thing right here. Boom. I have never had one of these before. Let me just tell you, it's a fingerprint magnet. It's black, but it looks like a black chrome. It is really beautiful, but this thing is heavy, dude. I mean, I did not expect it. I kind of expected it to be like a plastic chintzy thing, all style, you know, but this thing is dense. I mean, this is like a weight. So uh, on the, the side here, you can see the venting on the top. We have all the plugs and all that. It uses a standard, a much bigger power cable that a normal desktop has, but we have more Thunderbolt ports here. We have 
uh, USB, we have the headphone and speaker jack, and again, some of these things are upgradable, including the, the, the processor. You can actually take that out and remove the processor from the motherboard and replace that too if you were so inclined. Some ethernet jacks here as well. It also has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built into it, um, but I think the really big thing versus the new Mac Mini was the processor was pretty similar. I got the RAM I wanted, and I also got the bigger hard drive, but the Mac Pros have dual graphics cards, not just kind of the um, onboard, um, the motherboard uh, embedded graphic processing chips, but this has a couple of, I can't remember what they're called, but a couple of uh, uh, graphical processors, and that kind of makes it speedy for video editing, which I do a little bit here. I'm not, I don't do any hardcore stuff. Better for gaming and, you know, more than anything else, maybe just converting videos, that'll, that'll be a little bit better. But especially when I'm running my Samsung 49 inch monitor, one of the things that I want is, you know, uh, speed as I'm moving things around and having those uh, video boards in here, I think was the deal maker for me. Now, let me get to the best part. As opposed to buying the new Mac Mini for over $2,000, which didn't have the specs I wanted, um, or going up to like $2,300, $2,400 with tax for the one I really wanted, I got all those specs right here for about $1,600. Now, you're probably gonna have to go on eBay and win an auction to get it, but there are these out there for $1,700, $1,800 with buy it now, and you know, you're gonna avoid the sales tax on them. Um, and some of these, you know, they might not have accessories, even the power cable you might have to buy on your own. But man, I think this, I think this is an awesome um, uh, alternative to the new Mac Mini, you know, particularly given its price. I like the form factor and all that, but, you know, I'll be honest, you know, if you wanted a pocket, and, you know, in my case, I'm putting $400 back in my pocket by buying this, and it's kind of got everything I want, and maybe even a little more than the Mac Mini was offering. So check it out. Uh, I'll put a link to this if you want to follow those to check out some of the Mac Pros out there that are available, or, you know, pick up the Mac Mini. It really looks great. If I uh, was a guy that uh, had more money than brains, I'd be all over it. Actually, I, I might, even though I don't have a lot of money. Yeah, whatever. So check it out. Peter Von Panda, out.